to help affiliates really have things that they can use with potential clients and clients that make sense for these particular challenging times. You know, we've added a whole lot of Zoom events for you all in order to stay together, to stay connected, to provide learning since we couldn't have Power Summit um, and to continue to communicate and stay connected as a network. And the Zoom events have been really well received. We've added a whole bunch of topics. Our goal and objective is to do, you know, three or four, there is no concrete you know, schedule a week to give folks an opportunity to connect, to learn, and to stay positive, most of all. In addition to that, the team was really thinking about what else could we do with the existing content um, to create perhaps valuable mini processes that you could use from a marketing perspective or a facilitation perspective, you know, whether you charge for it, whether you don't charge for it, we, you know, we certainly need to talk about that, that we can take some of the content that's relevant and turn it into a conversation that can help your potential clients or clients see value and use them as action steps to manage through this process and get to the other side. You know, I obviously, you know, I'm a little prejudiced, but I think we've got some really great content so our objective was to create what we call three mini-series. Hey Pablo, how are you? Is to create three mini-processes. And we unveiled the first one on Friday, which is leading through challenging times, which we're re revisiting today. And I thank you for joining us. The second one is going to be, will your culture sustain these challenging times? And the third one will be building teams today for tomorrow's success. We're gonna unveil the second one on culture this Friday at noon, and the third one next Friday on building teams at noon. But basically what we did is we looked at our current content and said, let's build some mini processes that really can help folks take advantage of the assets they have and figure out how to use them. So this one leading through challenging times is taking three chapters out of executive leadership. It's taking collaboration, uh, communications and turning act turning solutions into actions and we picked those chapters particularly because in this particular case if we are leading in challenging times collaboration is a huge component of that and the chapter on collaboration talks about specifically what is collaboration it talks about the collaboration life cycle the life cycle goes into collaboration awareness motivation participation mediation re reciprocity reflection and engagement and it also in that chapter talks about sharing common goals and it also talks about the tools and rules of collaboration what better time than what what we're experiencing right now to collaborate at the highest level in order to figure out how we manage through this process and get out the other side the communications chapter talks about communication being believable being sincere, reliable, competent, careful, creating trust. All of that communication right now is huge. Do your team members believe what you're saying? Do they feel safe? Do they feel like you trust them and they can trust you? Are you connected? I was talking with Doug Brown yesterday on another Zoom event and he has a client that literally, um, as of this particular, they have somewhere around you know, three, 400 clients the CEO is on a mission to reach out to I'm not clients, I'm sorry, um, employees, is to reach out to them literally, personally, once a week, and has been really successful in doing that. You know, are you actively listening to what your people are concerned about, what your customers are concerned about, and how are you handling the feedback you're getting? And then we wanted to link it to a goal setting uh, section because we wanted to make this all about action. And that turning solutions into action talks about goal, the goal setting process. And we picked this chapter particularly also because this chapter deals with a, a pretty detailed section on fear. And there are a lot of folks that are really concerned right now about and fearful about what's going on. It also talks in this chapter about affirmations and what better time if you haven't employed affirmations, should we employ affirmations to really set a mental stage that this too, although as serious as it is, will pass and we will learn from it and get to the other side. And then we're also connecting it to the goal planning sheet. So even though we cannot currently 
um, ship hard copy, the LMS is readily available. And we can build these mini processes in the LMS and we'll also be able to do it hard copy at some point. But right now, literally, you could put together this mini process for a potential client or a client tomorrow, whether you want to use it as a, let me just give you something because I care about you. Uh, let me use it as a, you know, an enhanced marketing effort because I know you're struggling or with an existing client that you are already doing some work with and you want to add a piece to it. So let me share my screen and I'll walk you through just kind of a quick five slide PowerPoint um, that goes into a little bit more depth, but that's really kind of the impetus for these mini processes. On Friday, we had some real extensive conversations about you know how to use it, when to use it. A lot of really good ideas flew around as it relates to providing value. I don't know why it does that. So again, our objective is to create a mini process, or in this case, three mini processes. This one is on collaboration, communications, and goal planning. You know, can and how do you approach flourishing in these challenging times? The timeline is set up to be a three to four hour event. The agenda is built in such a fashion that it can be broken down in two hour segments if that's more appropriate for your audience. But when you'll see as we walk through it, we've built a three hour agenda and a four hour agenda and we deliberately built it with some zoom facilitation techniques built in because right now if you're going to do it tomorrow. That's the only way that you're going to do it. It's going to be set up via the LMS. They'll have access to the three chapters that we discussed as well as the um, goal setting or the goal planning sheets. Our recommendations in, this, in the instructions is that you give them their access and login two to three days ahead of time so that they have an opportunity to read or listen to the materials two to three times prior to the mini process facilitation and jot down some side notes. They can also enter notes into the LMS. <clears throat> And again, the content for this one is collaborating for results, leadership communications, turning goals into sustained success, all of which come out of the executive leadership process. The three hour agenda is going to look like this. We're suggesting a section for introductions. What are our objectives? Why are we here? You know, if this is a give back, I want to help your team get your head out of the sand and really figure out how to manage these challenges. If it's something that you're using as a marketing, you might have a different approach with an existing client. It may again be a different approach. The next section is going to be facilitating a discussion on the chapter collaborating for results. We've laid out a detailed facilitation format or facilitation notes that has subject matter that we suggest you talk about as well as discussion questions. So that's already been built for you for all three of the chapters. Part three of the three hour piece is facilitating a similar discussion on leadership communications and that chapter and making it relevant to them. Fourth is then turning solutions or turning goals into sustained success. Then we're recommending in our facilitation notes that you're going to work with them to prioritize the goals and action steps based upon what they have learned from these three chapters. And we're going to vet it down to three selected goals or action steps. So as we say in our process, five is probably more than an individual can handle. Right now, a company could probably only handle three. Sometimes it might be two. In some cases, it may only be one. But we're going to get it down to three that the group is going to be focused on and generating ideas on how they are going to implement these particular tools wrap and discuss the next steps. That's the three hour agenda. The four hour agenda is pretty consistent, except it takes it one hour out into getting into actual SMART goals. So if you have the opportunity, whether you do it in two hour blocks or you do it four hours straight or however you break it up, the, the fourth hour basically says, we're gonna give each one of our groups a one of the prioritized goals. We're going to send them off into a Zoom breakout group. So, you know, Mary and John, you're going to work on goal one. Susie and Bob, you're going to work on goal two. 
George and Ted, you're gonna work on goal three. I'm gonna set you out into a Zoom breakout room. You're gonna be all by yourself and your job as a team is to work on that goal, to get it down to a why smart goal statement, get it defined for target dates, rewards, consequences, obstacles and possible solutions. You break the group out, we're suggesting about 30 minutes. Bring them back in for a group check. Where are they? What needs to be clarified? Do they have questions? I don't know if any of you have used Zoom breakouts, but as a facilitator, once you set the breakout rooms up, you can go from breakout room to breakout room. So it's almost like you're physically in a conference center where you can send them out and now you're walking the hallways. You're just doing it digitally. So that way that you can kind of be there for questions, um, or just observe to make sure that they're focusing on what they need to. Make sure whatever thing, whatever needs to be clarified is clarified, send them back out to either complete the original assignment, but if they were, you know, the teacher's pet and they got further than you anticipated, you can now start having them work on action steps. The wrap for the last hour is send them as homework, depending upon where they are on the goal. As a group, you're gonna to work together virtually and your homework is to complete the entire goal planning process. You know, whether your group is as action steps, possible solutions, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna give you a week. Obviously that's flexible depending upon what's going on with your, with your group to complete the entire goal planning process to be presented back to the entire team in one week. Now, we're suggesting a week, that follow-up time frame is dependent upon the group that you're working with. Maybe it's two days, maybe it's two weeks, but we really encourage that there's a follow-up process here so that you stay in tune. Uh, one of the thoughts that came up last Friday when we originally debuted this, uh, Tom Lomansky said, you know, we don't wanna give away the farm. We don't wanna bastardize our buying selling process. But right now, getting a face-to-face -face meeting with a potential decision maker is not going to happen. So could you bring a potential client to the table and work with their group and turn this conversation into your buying selling process? So again, we're not suggesting that we're giving away the farm. This could very much turn into a conversation that led to appropriate information that says, you know what, let's work together to figure out what your priorities are and see how that might lead to future um, work together. So we're calling it a mini process. This one contains collaborating for results, leadership communications, turning goals into sustained success, and the goal planning sheets. So if, when or if you put a group together, your participants will receive via the LMS each one of these chapters and the corresponding audio and the connection to the goal planning sheets. It will come to them as a combination in their own little package. We can customize it with the company information, their logo if you choose. All of this comes from the executive leadership process. That's not always gonna be the case in the two that are coming up or mixing and matching some things. The audio will also be there so they can stream the audio. So the same rules apply if you prefer to read or listen, but I'd like you to at least have two or three exposures before we work together. They can enter the information. It'll, they will receive their own user uh, login and password. So all of the information that they're entering will be unique and private to them. What we would do normally if we were unveiling this as regular material, the regular pricing hard copy for the three chapters, the goal planning uh, sheets, the audio would be 110, LMS would be 90. Here's to be. There's Tammy. <laughs> what happened? There we, there we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're back. <laughs> Suddenly it was very quiet for a long time. <laughs> yes. where, did, where, did I, where did I lose you? Whoop. Did I lose you before that or? Yeah, before. Yeah, you lost us. You, I think you had finished on that page. We just finished this. this okay. Is Sorry about that. I got no notification that I was going away. I apologize. So, Leading uh, through challenging times and mini process. If we were doing this normal, you might have lost again. <laughs> You're frozen again, Tammy. Is Tammy frozen? Oh gosh.
don't know where it came from, but I love it. Yeah, it's terrific. It yeah. yeah. No, I, I mean, that's, that's, that's the, the other thing is that it's, it's a video, so it's even, it's even greater. than. It really looks live. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, Tammy's back. Sorry, okay. guys. So anyway, I, uh, I was just going over the pricing. And Someone's got a crappy She's not frozen internet again, connection. Huh? Tammy, are you frozen? Move. I am moving. <laughs> she looks like she This is crap. Thing that says your internet connection is unstable. Is unstable. Yeah. Right. I get. I usually get that one. I have to say, right. mine is. Am I back? You You're back. back. You're, You're back. back so. I'm not getting any notification that my internet's unstable. So, with that, I'm going to turn it over to questions. I can send you the slides. Thoughts, questions. Tammy, is this available right now? If yes, ready to rock and roll. With the LMS. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And basically the pricing that you didn't see that I'll send you the slides after we hang up is that, you know, we, we discounted it like one to three participants is 90 and there's a descending scale to make it much more cost effective for you, depending upon how you choose to use it. But it's just as easy for, I don't know if the PowerPoint's kicking me off. So in lieu of that, I'll just send you the slides. But that was the last slide that I was going to go through. But yes, it's available now. When we unveil the one this Friday, it'll be available. And next Friday, they'll, they'll be available immediately. Okay. And for, I'm actually in the middle of a process with somebody. Is it for one person, 90? One, yeah, one to three is 90. Okay. Do you see that you would have value in using it, Grant? Yes. Yes. Awesome. I think it's good for a, um, you know, an emerging leader too. I, 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 let's see where I am in this process. I'm almost halfway through, but I was, uh, I, I'm with a coaching uh, with an emerging leader right now. Um, awesome. First leadership role. Awesome. Other thoughts on how to use it? Questions or thoughts? I think the timing is very good. And Thank you, Pablo. And people is looking for this type of, uh, I made a webinar last week in Spanish, how to be productive working from home. And I have almost 250 people there. Oh, that's fantastic. So I'm, I'm how, did starting. You, how did you market or how did you let them know it was available? How'd you get 250? Well, it wasn't in Spanish. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, actually I made two webinars. One is uh, the cycles of the family business. The other one was uh, being productive, working from home. So I have a network in Latin America and uh, they send uh, the email probably to more than 3000 people or more. Wow, that's fantastic. Good for you. And the, and the, the, the almost 70% uh, of uh, people that subscribe uh, show up. So this was very good. So now, now I have a lot of information that I need to, you know, continue this type of, this type of things. The timing is perfect. Awesome. I'm glad that it's helpful. Just to reiterate, um, the one that we're going to unveil this Friday is Will Your Culture Sustain Challenging Times? This one is going to have uh, two chapters, and we're also going to be including facilitation around using the advanced insights. And we're doing that deliberately to put advanced insights in the middle of these three processes because, you know, do they have the right people on the teams? Because the team that worked yesterday before the world, you know, blew up, may not be the team that's going to get them to the other side and using advanced insights to be able to determine who they have on the right team. And also, and this came up in a conversation in yesterday's Zoom event is, you know, would advanced insights be able to shed any light on who's struggling? Um, and if it, attribute index, the, in, in, the internals is going to help identify who might be internally struggling with the strife that's going on around us. And then the, one, the third one is building teams today for tomorrow's success. And this whole concept of who's going to pull you through this stuff and then who's going to get you to the other side. They may not always be the same team members. So that's what's coming. Pricing may vary a bit because of the number of chapters used, but based upon the slides that I send you, 
you'll get a general bar ballpark. It won't be higher than what you're going to see that I send you. Okay. I don't know. You, go ahead, Sandy. No, it was a question. On, um, you had said that there were some particular tips or instructions about how to do this as an online presentation and, and process as opposed to in person. Is yeah. that um, if, if you need it for a client and you're purchasing the actual LMS, we'll give you the facilitation tools for free. Okay. Oh, that's great. And so uh, some of you uh, have been on previous webinars that I've done, some have not. I don't know if you're aware of this. And if you don't check out the breaking news, we've added a lot of stuff. One uh, is that we are offering the organizational assessment dialogue at no charge through the month of April. Um, with the uh, opportunity to extend it if the world extends our quarantine. Um, we've had two affiliates that have gotten projects based upon that opportunity. So again, it's a way to continue to create value through the buying selling process. So when clients have a desire to say, you know what, um, you were very helpful through these times, I want you to help me with X, Y, and Z. So know that that's there. Because I haven't, I haven't seen Sandy or Pablo on any of the webinars that I've done. Not that that's necessarily anything. It's just we're just kind of populating that information and really trying to train affiliates' brains to go to the breaking news more now than ever. Because we're putting a lot of this information up there. Because not everybody sits on a Zoom event. Yeah. Other questions, comments. So this one was slotted for a half an hour. We're at 12.28. I'm sorry about my technological difficulties. <laughs> That's just flat out annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, so I just one other question because I have not done MLS, uh, LMS before. Um, it would be set up and it would go, I'd have it set up to go to the person's email address. Yeah, what you would need to provide uh, Wendy or Jenna is the individual's email address. Uh -huh. um, what they will do is they'll set it up. Um, if you have a company logo you want to add, we can do that. And then what, that, what Jenna will give you, you have a choice. We can send it to the person for you or we can give it to you and you can share it. But you'll get an individual user pass, a username and password for each individual. Some affiliates have a preference of send it to me and I'll get it to my client because maybe you want to package it with other information. And some yeah. folks um, just say, just send it to them. Um, Eva is doing one right now. He's coaching somebody and his preference was just send it to the lady. She's fine. You know? Yeah. But no. we have other folks that have a strong preference that they want to you know, kind of package it. Okay. Jamie, if I can jump in, I've been using the LMS for gosh, what, four or five years now. Yeah, heavily. Uh, yeah. And um, what, I, what I find is I usually do the kickoff. As I do the kickoff, I have the client bring their computer with them if I'm doing it in person kickoff. And um, I'll have it sent five minutes before I know I'm starting a kickoff. And they're great about it. They say, hey, I want it at 11 o'clock. It's going to hit. By the time we're done with the kickoff, I started the kickoff at 11. I said, okay, let's open your computer. Let's take a look. You should have an email. There's a login and I walk them right through it. If I'm there in person, you can do the same thing virtually as well. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that user insight, Rick. Yeah. It's, 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 and it's, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. We, what I have found is when no one's seen, no one's seen a binder before, no one's ever seen a binder. They have no idea what a binder is. It's natural. Hmm. They just, they just start, okay, this is the way it is. We've all seen the boxes and the binders and the white boxes and all of that. So now we're kind of, kind of I call it tainted. We're old school. We, this is what we always done. It is what it is. And what I find is, um, shit, I got a call coming in, is that it's easy for them to, to transition. Thank you, Rick. And if um, any of you have not seen or used the LMS, there is, uh, there's a, we can get you a sample login and password so that you can kind of play with it. But it, it mirrors the hard copy. You know, to Rick's point, we're all used to the binders, but literally it mirrors the hard copy. So if Grant, you say, you know what, I want to look, 
this is not true to this mini process, but it's the example that I use because we can all vision it. Um, so if you're using it as a full blown coaching process as an example, and it's time to talk about the dream inventory because you had them do that as homework last week. Um, you literally can say, so now, and you can have hard copy and, and LMS using it simultaneously. You can say to your group, let's check out the dream inventory and what you did in that exercise. If you recall, it's behind the red tab. Well, literally for hard copy, it's behind the second red tab, right? We all know where that is. But literally for LMS, there is a navigation bar on the right-hand side that basically there's a red dream inventory box. They'll double click on that and they're in their dream inventory. And the forms look very, very similar. So the LMS was built specifically X number of years ago so that you as a facilitator can have both in your same group. You could have 10 people and five say, I'm old school, I want the book. And you can have five that say, yeah, I don't do books, I only do electronic. And literally as a facilitator, it doesn't change your facilitator instructions. Same would be true for these many processes. They, they're gonna have the end of the chapter questions, they're gonna have the you know, discussion questions, all the things that you know to be in the hard copy, it, it, the LMS mirrors it. Absolutely. Okay. I think I think we are we are we are blessed at this time to have all that content online. We're very very lucky. I mean, literally, That's trusted advisors is following the Pennsylvania protocol, but we're pretty much operating from our homes, business as usual, just with the stipulation that until Governor Wolf says we can go back to the office, we're LMS only. Mm -hmm. yeah. What have they said in Pennsylvania? Does he have an end, a, an end date for you there? No, they've extended in New York. It's the 28th of um, this month. Yeah, well, the President Trump said the 30th of this month, and I think most of the states here, at least, of Pennsylvania is following suit. I'm, I'm really crossing my fingers that that's a true statement, but other affiliates are saying through some of their conversations they're hearing a longer extension, so I don't know. Here in California, or here in San Francisco Bay Area, we're, we're shut down till the 3rd of May. Okay, well, that's not that, that's not that far from April 30th. Right, but well, they It's all about the same again. time. Yeah. They're talking about extending it, possibly extending that even. I, I think there's a very good possibility it's gonna get extended. Mm -hmm. Other thoughts or questions? I wanna be respectful of your time. No, thank you very much for. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Stay safe. Yeah, thanks, Tammy. And Sandy. And uh, join me on Friday and you'll see the second one. Thanks, okay. Guys. Thank All you. All right. Have a great okay. one. Okay. All thank right. You. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.